The product I have to show you today is this electric melting pot. There's two different versions to this pot that you can choose from, an easy version and a pro version. The one that I have to show you today is the easy version. So with your melting pot, you do get this insulated stand. What this is going to do is keep it up off the surface that you are working on. It also has higher edges to prevent the pot from tipping and making a big dangerous mess. This does have a fairly long power cable, which is nice. So you can plug it in and kind of move around where you want to be. You don't have to be directly next to the outlet. So with all that being said, we're gonna go ahead and get this plugged in and melt some lead. When you first plug in your melting pot, it's going to immediately start heating up, as you can see here with this infrared thermometer gun. Depending on the size of your lead, this pot is supposed to melt one pound of lead in five minutes for the first time, and then can continue to melt one pound of lead in two minutes when the pot is at its highest temperature, which I do agree with. This big chunk of lead took about eight minutes to melt completely down, and then these little pieces that I placed in once the pot was at its highest temperature melted in just about five seconds. So the time it takes your lead to melt really depends on the size of your lead and how much you're putting in at a time, but nonetheless, it's still a very fast process. So here's the finished product. Of course, before you pour it into any mold, you'd want to scrape out any of the impurities. As you can see in the lead, there's still a metal piece that cannot get melted down. So you'd want to get all of that out of there before pouring it into your molds. But since I don't have a mold, I'm going to be pouring it into this steel bowl just to show you how smoothly it pours. So this is what the melted lead looked like after getting it out of the bowl. Of course you want to do it the same way I did. I just don't have any molds to show you what an actual mold would look like, but if you are getting this melted pot, I would assume that you do have lead molds at home to make some stuff out of this melted lead. So that there is how the electric melting pot works. I'm super impressed with how fast it got that lead melted down. A few things I do want you to know about using this melting pot is to make sure that you are in a well ventilated area. Be mindful of how you're using it. It is recommended to wear heat resistant gloves. So if you have any splashes or if it does happen to tip, your hands are protected. And also let your melting pot cool down before you attempt to clean it. Because again, you are dealing with very, very high temperatures, which could potentially be dangerous if this melting pot is mishandled. So with all that being said, this electric melting pot was sent to me in order to show you I'm impressed with it. And if you have some lead that needs melted down, whether that be for fishing sinkers or other homemade crafts, then I would recommend this electric melting pot for you. As you've seen here, gets the job done.